to my channel. So today is going to be another wash day for me. I'm definitely, honestly, not in a mood to wash my hair, but um, my hair is like extremely crusty. I've been having it in this slick back bun for the past week now. So she is in need of a major, major, major wash. So that's what I'm going to be doing today to my hair. So I'm using today the Cream of Nature uh, Mango and Shea Butter Shampoo and the Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Ultra moisturizing conditioner i love this stuff actually this stuff once i wash my hair with the shampoo has my hair like extremely soft and no this is not a sponsored video honey i bought all these products with my own money but i'm just saying being honest that i absolutely love this stuff um right now it's like one of my best conditioners that i use because the slip is absolutely amazing and the softness is very real so um i love this stuff and i want to try something different with some color so y'all just stay tuned for that so here, yes, I am pretty old-fashioned and old-school. I do not like really washing my hair in the shower unless I just need to hurry up and quickly rinse it. And, um, yeah, so I just throw some water on and put it in a ponytail. But I normally wash my hair in the sink, so y'all can see me here um, saturating my hair with as much water as possible under the sink. And I like to get it as wet as I can because y'all seen all that crust. I like to loosen all of that dirt and debris up out of my hair along with the products. So I am going in again with my Cream of Nature Mango and Shea Butter Shampoo. This stuff does a great job with um, cleansing the hair. I love this product. So I'm just making sure I get my scalp and make sure I scrub it really good. So I'm sure y'all noticed already that yes, I did. I still, even in the sink, split my hair in two because it's just too thick to be working with all at one time again. And so I am just making sure I rinse all of that shampoo out really, really well before I move on to the next section section <laughs> and um i also watch each section twice so i can make sure that my hair is fully cleansed i normally wash my hair twice with shampoo when i know that i have um put a lot of product in my hair for that week so i'm just going in for a second wash before i move on to the next side today was like a lazy wash day for me um so now i am going to do a deep conditioner but i'm going to do it the lazy way um passion fruit smoothie um with soy milk conditioner from vo5 and i'm going to use my olive oil and i am just going to simply it's going to be as quick as possible watch day for me. I'm just going to take some of that VO5, a good amount, and I am going to start at my ends, lather that on there like that or like that, and I am just going to pour some olive oil in my hands, and I am going to go behind that. Put that on like that. I forgot to get my comb. So I'm back with my comb, and I am just it's best to comb your hair when it's um, a conditioner or 
you know, some type of moisturizer in your hair, not dry. Um, usually, I told y'all this was going to be kind of a fast wash day. Usually, I would <laughs> take my time and kind of finger detangle before I put the comb in there. But I'm trying to kind of came out of that section. Twist this up. Okay, so now all my conditioner is in my hair. So I am going to let this sit for about 15 or 20 minutes. Show you guys how much hair, uh, cause you know, I like keeping up with the shedding or how much hair I lost. And I like to share with you guys how much hair that came out during the conditioning detangle um process so it wasn't that much you know i'm surprised with that hair been in that ponytail like so but this is how much hair that came out during the detangling process so that is not bad i am not mad at that so i am back washing the deep conditioner out of my hair and I am now putting in my Cream of Nature Mango Butter uh, Ultra Moisturizing Conditioner. And get bored extremely quick so I have been contemplating wanting to color my hair it's just I've been back and forth with what color I want to go with and you know whether I want to bleach it for the first time or not but I am trying to be good because this go round after cutting my hair hmm, about a year and some change it's probably been a year and a half i think in November, october it'll be two years i cut all of my hair off so she's doing pretty good i just want to um try and stick with maintaining healthy hair so i decided to go to my local beauty supply store and pick up the hair color wax um, product y'all not gonna know what this say because I don't even know what this say I was actually kind of skeptical about this because it's all in um, some Asian writing I'm not gonna say um, it's called oh I looked this up I looked this up and I had not yet opened the box but it is I think you call it Mofajang Mofajang I don't know in the color red so I wanted to try this hair wax out so I'm gonna let you guys try it with me yes I put on some protective gloves because you know I don't want my hands stained and whatnot for these colors so I am opening it it said it's a good smell but actually it smells almost like it smells like cologne a little bit. Don't smell bad. Um, almost, I almost wanted to say a chemical, but it smells like a cologne. Almost like a man's deodorant, if I am to be honest. But say, okay, wash your hair, then take a little of the hair clay, rub it with fingers only, then apply to your hair in a bottom up way with fingers gently until apply uniformly. Please wash a little bit of this. I know it says fingers only, but I honestly don't want this stuff all over my hair. <laughs> I really don't. And I think my goal is I'm just wanting to stick to mid hair to the end. I don't think I want to go all the way up to the top. So <laughs> we'll just see how this goes. Be a little bit lighter on the bottom because my ash brown hair color is on the bottom so 
I don't know. We didn't see know how it works. And a dry. This is the first section. It came out pretty red. And <laughs> let me wipe that off. I don't need no breakouts. It's looking like a pinkish color, but um, I'm gonna do another section for y'all. Yeah, it looks a little pink. You don't really look red. But again, I only wanted to try this because before I go off and dye my hair, I wanted to see how this would come out because I am trying to uh, just practice a little bit more or I'm going to say just be a little bit more health conscious when it comes to my hair and what I take it through. So yeah, <laughs> so I just said, let me try the color is really, really vibrant. It's almost like, to me, it's coming um, off almost like a pinkish. And I don't have anything in my hair up under this color or up under this wax. So I'm back with the finished look of this hair coloring wax. Um, again, I use the Mofajang or the Mofajang, whatever you want to call it in the color red and this is the finished product i am going to turn around to show y'all the back um it distributed pretty well um went on very smoothly again i do not have anything up under this hair color um i didn't put any extra moisturizer in my hair or any extra oil i should have because i feel like if this style is going to be kind of maintained, then I should have put some moisture in it. But nevertheless, because I told y'all when I started this video, <laughs> I was trying to take the easy way out, honey. So I wasn't trying to be in here all day on my hair. But um, my final... Um, <laughs> My final thoughts on this hair color, I think it's fun when you don't really want to dabble in that other stuff that could possibly or that could damage your hair, not possibly, could eventually damage your hair. I am not a stranger to permanent hair colors, even semi-permanent, semi but I feel like this is a great uh, alternative for those who do not want to go that route. It was... Um, easy to put on um it says it's fairly easy to wash out so i mean i'm not mad at the finished product i'm not mad at it at all the color it looks kind of again it's supposed to be red but it looks a little pinkish and how y'all see it on camera is exactly how it looks to me it looks pinkish a little bit it doesn't really look like red but again i'm not mad at it at all it's doing what it's supposed to do and so yeah this is how she looks um so i guess i could rock this you know what y'all think y'all tell me oh yes you will get that's why i was wearing gloves because you know you will get uh some of this product on your hands i was just kind of cleaning the bottle and stuff like that so easy if y'all can see <laughs> so it shouldn't be a big deal if it gets on your hands but if you want to be extra safe just you know find you a pair of gloves like i did and throw those bad boys on and distribute this product in your hair but thank you guys again for tuning in to another vlog i want to just tell y'all how appreciative I am of all of you guys that watches my channel. And y'all know already know what to do. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girls. But before you leave the channel, always make sure y'all click the notification button so y'all will be notified when I put out more videos because I'm always putting out some kind of video, right? So, but I love y'all and until next time.